in my depression's infancy, it couldn't make words. It only spoke in shrill screams and cries, scratching thorny vines in my throat, burning brush fires in my lungs. Anger and envy burrowed in my veins like parasites and mutated into guilt and shame, exploded in seven-year-old sleepover panic attacks, red-faced, runny-nosed cry spells in the school bathroom. I hated the way my eyes would puff up, my face blotchy and biled like a rotten strawberry. I would scrub furiously away at discoloration and salt, hoping for a better person person to come out the other side. I didn't wish for death. Death still leaves a life in people's memories. I wished for non-existence. For all the pain I had and had left behind to cease, I wanted to shrink. To be locked up in Pandora's box among the rest of the evils in the world. After a second grade diagnosis, graduating from four years of therapy and popping antidepressants like Skittles, I thought it'd finally be gone when I'd grown. But my depression grew up with me. It's matured into a warm, heavy fatigue, like it's exhausted being so sad all the time. It pulls me down into my comforter, buries me in my bed mummifies me in stained bed sheets. It's for the best, it says. If you don't move, you can't ruin your life. If you're alone, you can't hurt anyone. Depression doesn't scream anymore. It bellows low, choking, gasping for breath. Air releases staccato, short and stinging, like something stomping each breath out of my chest. Even breathing drains my energy. I got broken faucets for eyes, but I don't clog the leaks anymore, because the silence of being underwater is at least loud enough to drown out my thoughts, though the neighbors ask me why my house is always flooded. My mom opens my room's locked door after I've disappeared into myself for 18 hours straight. Are you done moping? When are you going to stop feeling like this? I say, progress isn't a straight line always going up. Sometimes the road to recovery is a maze that leads you back to where you started. I can now feel when the oceans of blackness start approaching. They used to suffocate me. But at least now, I've learned how to dive under the waves.